As the most anticipated 15th OIC summit hosted by the Gambia under the leadership of His Excellency President Adama Barrow, turns zero days old, with delegates pouring from different countries around the world and welcomed by Gambians with open arms. <laughs> With high anticipation of a successful summit with shared love and tranquility, with busy schedules and unending engagements several meetings had been held before the actual two-day summit, ranging from President Barrow's press conference and many other engagements which were all done before the actual summit conference, so as to give more assurance to the people of the country and the delegates of the preparedness of the hosts of the event. On the 30th of April 2024 the summit began its preparatory meeting of the senior officials for the 15th session of the Islamic Summit Conference commences its activities in Banjul. The senior officials meeting preparatory for the, the 15th session of the Islamic Summit Conference kicks off in Banjul, capital of the Republic of the Gambia on the 30th of April 2024 as the Islamic Summit Conference will be held on 4th and 5th of May 2024. The meeting is aimed at discussing documents of the sessions and submitting its report to the meeting of the Council of Foreign Ministers which will in turn submit a report to the Islamic Summit. At the beginning of the meeting, His Excellency, Dr. Abdullah Al-Tayyar, advisor at the Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs Multilateral Agency for International Affairs delivered a speech in the name of his country in his capacity as the chairman of the Islamic Summit Conference in its 14th session, presenting the valuable efforts and initiatives it carried out as well as the achievements of economics and science, as well as the numerous activities and conferences in various sectors organized by the kingdom during its chairmanship of the previous session, expressing its support to the efforts of the OIC's General Secretariat. In his own part, Mr. Lang Yabo, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, international cooperation and Gambians abroad on behalf of his country hosting the 15th session of the Islamic Summit Conference welcomed the delegates of the member state, affirming that his country is exerting concerted efforts towards ensuring success of the session under the theme, enhancing unity and solidarity through dialogue for sustainable development. The OIC Assistant Secretary General for Political Affairs, H.E. Mr. Yusuf Aldobi delivered a speech in which he presented his felicitation to the Republic of the Gambia as it becomes the chairman of this session, renewing his appreciation to the government of the Gambia for the arrangements made for hosting this summit. He also expressed his profound appreciation and gratitude to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for its valuable and appreciable efforts and initiatives during its chairmanship of the 14th Islamic Summit. He also demonstrated its strong commitment to joint Islamic actions in line with the mission of the organization, commending all the kingdom's continued support to the organization as the headquarters state through its generous care and desire of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Assistant Secretary General stated that this summit being held during a critical period witnesses very important developments in terms of various issues. Listed on the agenda of the OIC's activities, foremost, among which is the Palestinian cause, the central issues of the organization will be discussed alongside documents of the summit, including issues of peace and security, Muslim minority communities in non-member states, as well as legal, humanitarian, social, cultural, economic, science and technology, information, administrative and financial matters. The Banjul Summit represents a unique opportunity for the member states to enhance their cooperation in order to promote joint Islamic action and engage in constructive dialogue on global issues and challenges facing the Islamic Ummah. Events the extraordinary session of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Member States of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to consider the continuing Israeli aggression against the Palestinian people. Resolution of the Joint Arab-Islamic Extraordinary Summit on Israeli Aggression Against the Palestinian People. 
Extraordinary open-ended meeting of the OIC Executive Committee at the level of foreign ministers on the brutal Israeli military aggression against the Palestinian people. On the first day of the summit, the chairman of the 14th summit of the OIC handed over the chairmanship to His Excellency President Adama Barrow, the host president of the 15th OIC summit. The Secretary General of the OIC, Mr. Hissein Brahim Taha, was the first person the given the floor to give a speech by President Barrow. And he stated in his speech, the current conditions in countries such as Yemen, Libya, Sudan, and the Sahel region require dialogue and reconciliation as the only viable solutions to their issues. By doing so, these countries can channel their efforts and resources towards achieving stability and comprehensive development. It is crucial to preserve the territorial integrity and sovereignty of the member states. We acknowledge the efforts of the member states that have taken the initiative to resolve conflicts by encouraging parties involved to engage in dialogue. As for the Syrian crisis, political solutions remain the only way to resolve it. Our organization strives to prevent conflicts and achieve peaceful settlements, primarily through mediation. We aim to strengthen our capabilities in this field, which was followed by the speech of the President of the Republic of the Gambia who double as the chairman of the 15th OIC summit President Adama Barrow, in which he highlighted pertinent issues and crises in regarding the Muslim Ummah, in his speech he stated, We have convened here today with the awareness that the Muslim world faces numerous challenges, ranging from the calamities of terrorism to factional violence and armed conflict. Amid this unrest, we must reaffirm our commitment to mediation and dialogue as indispensable mechanisms to resolve conflict and foster lasting peace. It is fitting, therefore, that the theme for this 15th session is, enhancing unity and solidarity through dialogue and sustainable development. Many other speakers highlighted on several significant issues. From Gene TV we pray for peace and tranquility during the OIC summit in the Gambia and hope that all vital Islamic issues will be discussed in this summit, especially the oppression Muslims are facing around the world. Thank you for watching Geem TV, and please do not forget to follow us on our different social media platforms, and also share the videos. Assalamu alaikum, peace be on you all. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن جاءكم فاسق بنبأ فتبينوا